we at Manager Tools love doing actionable podcasts, right? That's the thing you can count on us for. Manager Tools, Career Tools, no matter what, you're going to get specific recommended actions every time you listen in 20 or 30 or 40 minutes, or even if it's a multi-part show. Sometimes, though, that means things get left on the floor. Um, not that we have a cutting room, but, but they get left on the floor because they're really not specifically actionable. We refer to them. They're underlying principles. A good example is the Rule of 150, for instance. Um, but there, there are situations that we have a theory we want to share, but it's not actionable, and this is one of them. And it's called the pinch crunch model. And it's a very simple sociological or psychological interpersonal communication model that simply says this. If you have a relationship with another person, whether it's professional or personal, uh, uh, if it's a boss or subordinate or peer, it doesn't matter, any, any relationship at all, there is an understanding about what the parameters and rules are in that relationship. If it's your boss, obviously it means your boss can tell you to work late. Uh, if it's your spouse, it means you don't give him or her feedback. There are all kinds of parameters and rules that we understand. Uh, we have different parameters and rules with our children than we do with our parents, than we do with our peers as opposed to our subordinates, as opposed to our bosses. Each one of those relationships, and depending upon the type of friendships you have, each one of those has a different set of parameters and rules associated with it. The pinch crunch model says this. Periodically, as you're uh, interacting with someone, communicating with someone over a period of time, there are times when the relationship experiences a pinch. A little moment where one or both people feel a little bit of disconnect, where someone perhaps behaves slightly out of the relationship. You tell, something, someone, you tell someone something in confidence and they repeat it to somebody else and you find out. Or you expect your directs to be on time and they're late. Uh, or you expect your boss to give you plenty of advance warning to, to be able to deal with childcare and they don't and, and, and uh, that, that pinches the relationship. You probably, if it's a solid relationship, a pinch every once in a while is not a problem. The pinch crunch model though says this, if you pinch and you don't discuss it, you're not, you don't become clear about what happened and why it happened and should we change our parameters, should we change our rules, or should we just recognize that sometimes we make mistakes and right now the only thing we need to do in this pinch is apologize one to the other. If you have a pinch and then you have another pinch and then perhaps another pinch and there is no planned renegotiation, there's no discussion of what the pinch was you end up in what we call a crunch. And in the model, if you draw a picture of the model, it actually shows a little teeny pinch, uh, several of them in a row, followed by a gigantic crunch. And unfortunately, what happens is the crunch is what gets the press, is what we focus on when there is an ongoing relationship of, of any type. The crunch is what seems to be the, the moment of parting or when, when, when we simply say we're going to dissociate ourselves from one, enough, one another. We, we fire our director. We decide we want to leave our company because our boss is a jerk or our peers are not supporting us, whatever the case might be. Um, or we stop talking to our child for a week because we're so upset with his or her behavior, whatever it might be. We, we've had some pinches and then because we don't address things as they come along, those pinches build up and then finally we have a crunch. And the pinch crunch model says, rather than focusing on how to solve that crunch, the way to solve, uh, to get to a successful relationship is to deal with the pinches when they happen. This is an underlying theory that Mike and I, the entire Manager Tools team, knows to be true. And we know that if we have a pinch, it's better to talk about it then, maybe to make light of it, to make it a small thing, to make it brief, to get over it, to, to say, yes, we did have a pinch, and we know what happened, we know why it happened, and we can adjust our behavior going forward because of it, or we forgive one another, whatever the case might be, rather than saying, it's not that big a deal, let's wait, and then say it's not that big a deal again two weeks later, and three weeks later, and six weeks later, until you suddenly get in a crunch. Crunches are what we're going to avoid, but if your solution to crunches is to solve the crunch when it happens, you're solving the symptom and not the cause. The cause are those pinches along the way. And that's why with the Manager Tools Feedback Model, we recommend it be brief and quick and over. We recommend brevity in the feedback model. We don't want managers firing people. And when managers call us and say, I gotta fire somebody, what do I do? We almost always say, well, we can help you solve this problem, but really that's not the underlying problem. The underlying problem is you've had a bunch of pinches and you didn't do anything about it. You didn't give any feedback. You essentially sent a message it was okay to do that because you didn't renegotiate what the parameters and rules were between you and your subordinate. And now unfortunately the performance has gotten so bad you feel it's necessary to fire them. We generally would disagree with that, but nevertheless, the fact is, you're now in a crunch moment and you want to know, how do I solve this crunch? And really the solution to crunches happens long before and the right solution to a pinch. And that is the pinch crunch model.